Tilly Jr. told me he was president. <laughs> Non-stop adrenaline, no matter where we fly in the world, just make sure that the Air Force One, the President, the crew, are uh, fully secure in the responsibility. With an eight-mile no-fly zone in place, the President's no helicopter, Marine One, approaches joint base handling. Home, the Air Force One. The reason for this high degree of security? Air Force One is America's airborne command center. As the most important plane on the planet, Air Force One carries American presidents to some of the most dangerous places on Earth. But after 30 years of missions across the world, this plane will soon be retired with honor. I was going to say, he has a 747, so... They're going to be going to um, they're going to service now. She will need to undergo a dramatic metamorphosis. Air Force One serves as a command center. How can I do not have an AVAC as an Air Force One? Well, not really talk about, but the new Air Force One has absolutely finer system. That should be the next Air Force One, AVAC. The upgrade of the 747. Technicians have to integrate high-tech It's a Sea King helicopter, wasn't it? It's got to be. Now, the 747 would be probably around 40 years old now. It's just gone recently out of retirement. Goodbye. You're at the White House now, mate. He was the 45th president. Biden, Biden is the 46th. It's something that's just very, very special. Once the president sets foot on board the airplane, 
that's our cue to start again just on the white side of the airplane. Somebody filmed a, a clip of Biden going up one of those steps up to the plane and he tripped like three times on the stairs. And that video was absolutely global. With the president on board, every second counts. The swift and safe passage of the president depends on the crew. You want? service. Compared to the existing Air Force One, this Epic 747-8 is a huge technological leap forward. At 250 feet, it is the longest passenger plane on the planet. Its massively extended upper deck gives the plane over 20% more force. <laughs> Wasn't it's on? No more, eh? The interior is bigger than an NBA basketball court. Its wide wings with revolutionary carbon fiber, saber-shaped wingtips. Angle at 37.5 degrees. This new shape not only allows the enormous plane to fly faster, but also take off and land on extremely short runways. Four GE next generation engines power it up to nearly Mach 1, making this the fastest passenger jet aircraft on Earth. But transforming this Colossus into Air Force One presents an enormous challenge which rests on the shoulders of this man, Bob Fuchs. A brand new 747 airplane is going to come with new technology, new capabilities, that uh, we're going to turn into something very presidential. Bob is performing a last-minute inspection on the plane before she flies to San 